Scentland, the land of scent. Hello and welcome, it's Chris back with another fragrance review. And the this time as in many cases, the location where uh, this video is being shot um, has a reason, okay? And that reason is fairly obvious. We're talking about a fragrance released by a car manufacturer brand, okay? And there are some of them out there, uh, actually more and more. Um, you see many, uh, that I don't really like, uh, but but there are sometimes some of these common fracture fragrances are actually nice. Some of the Ferrari line is nice, some of the Bentley uh, line is nice, and indeed some of the Jaguar line are nice fragrances. And Jaguar goes back, I think, way into the to the 90s with uh, releasing their first uh, own fragrance. So I think think probably they were the pioneers of of doing so but i'm not exactly sure the only thing is that that you know if you if you use a bentley or a ferrari fragrance and or a jaguar fragrance or a mercedes fragrance and then sit in in a less um less uh, fancy car that's always sort of a, a kind of a loser angle i think in uh, in my opinion at least uh, because you can't afford the car but you still want to be you know using the brand okay Okay, or well maybe, yeah, I don't know. I'm not that type of guy, so I don't really fancy uh, fragrances released by car manufacturers yet. Again, as I say, there are some nice releases, and one of them is coming to you or to us from the house of Jaguar, as I mentioned already, um, from the year of 2017. And it's this very fragrance here, um, and it has a ridiculous name. I mean, that's that's the other thing you know um pace accelerate like okay so okay it's, i think it's just to me it's such a foolish type of like no call it anything else but pace except so what are you wearing mm, that smells nice what are you wearing <laughs> i i wear pace accelerate what <laughs> it's ridiculous i think the name is just horrid um Bottle is nice, um, it's actually very nice, although it's a bit, you know, okay, with the logo and that, again, it's like, I want to have a Jaguar, but I can't, can't afford a car, so I get the fragrance type of scenario going on here. Same with the Mercedes, with the big, big star uh, in front of it, I can't stand that, you know, it's such, such a cheap, uh, cheap, uh, uh, t cheap um, approach of, of, of marketing, I hate it. Uh, but okay, let's try to say something nice about this fragrance. And there is actually about the fragrance itself that is nice. Uh, first of all, the, the bottle is heavy. Um, cap is fairly okay. Sprayer is great. Um, and most importantly, most above all, forget about the marketing, the branding, the brand itself. If it's what category it is or what, what it aims to represent or what the name is, okay, of the fragrance. The... The... Uh, the smell is fantastic and that's in the end why I use it. I got this as a, as a gift and I think um, the, um, the, the, the smell is just fantastic. It's very well blended, it's fresh, um, it, has to, it has some, some, some nutmeg in there which, which usually um, you know, gets my attention straight away but also some freshness, um, orange bergamot, um, juniper berry, jasmine, there's a bit of floral impact there as well, a for, floral um, addition to that, but just slightly, and um, and also um, some some spiciness of, 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 of not only the, uh, the cardamom, but uh, not only the nutmeg, but the cardamom as well. So it's nice, uh, it's a ni and it's nicely blended, it's not heavy, it's, it's a very... Um, um, uplifting, positive, clean-smelling, refreshing fragrance with a with a with a with a definite backbone there, and I and I really love the freshness and the spiciness, the, the way they go along with each other. Okay, and the reason the, uh, I like this uh, the most, uh, or the most obvious reason I like this, I should say, is that it very much resembles um, a fragrance that 
that I used to wear a lot in the 80s, uh, sorry, in the 90s, uh, late 90s, uh, and that was uh, Bulgari Purum. Okay, Bulgari Purum has this tea-like um, leathery scenario, which is which is here. There's no tea and no leather in here, but there is vetiver and musk in the background and all the other um, notes that I've listed, and somehow it, it achieves to smell very similar to Bulgari Purum. Um, maybe a tad more citrusy and less um, less dry um, but it's still very similar it's very uplifting and, 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 and interestingly the performance is great it's not a pusher it's not projecting like a beast but it's it's very persistent in its in its in its life uh, on your skin or on your clothes uh, again I, I tend to always spray it a little bit but underneath the shirt and there with the body chemistry and the body heat it tends to breed um, indeed for for the entire day I really sh uh, or the night sometimes I wear it for a night um, and you can smell it the next day as well faintly but it really it's, it's, it's there uh, you can recognize it and it's such an um, uplifting feeling um, and it's such a such a great positive fragrance refreshing mood boosting and and uh, I really reach for it uh, mostly in the morning, but again, before going to bed, probably also because it's it's it calms you down, it it fills you with with some you know positive energies and 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 a reassurance of a good day or of a of a good night. So I, I I really appreciate this fragrance for for that, and I don't look at the brand, I don't look at the ridiculous name, okay? Um, so. So yeah, yeah, it's I really like it for for what it is. Uh, I'm not madly in love with it, but um, I'm very happy to use it. Put it that way, okay? And it's very versatile as well. And age-wise, again, it's versatile. Um, and overall, it has a good um, price versus quality ratio as well. So it really makes the customer happy, okay? And again, um, I don't want to wear it because it's it has this fancy logo and it says Jaguar. <laughs> uh, and I want to wear it for the fragrance uh, that it is in itself, okay? Uh, Jaguar Pace Accelerate, which is actually a flanker of the original Jaguar Pace. Pace is a catchy name, but then to say Pace Accelerate, I just can't get over the ridiculousness of the name, okay? Uh, but nevertheless, I still continue to, to use this, this gorgeous little fragrance as an everyday um, mood booster that's that's what I would really say so thanks very much I'll be heading off to work and uh, this will be my companion for the day Genu uh, Jaguar Pace Accelerate it's, it's it twists my tongue it really does Jaguar Pace Accelerate what are you wearing Jaguar Pace Accelerate I, I think I gotta get more two more coffees a double espresso for ciao ci vediamo